yes, I know I already made a video on this, but Bryn Forbes beating up his probably ex-girlfriend now, there's been some more information come out about it. So he's a father of two. Remember that when I get through this whole video, he has two kids. So he is dating an ex, I don't know how to say it, adult film star. And apparently she was having a lot of success on, I'm going to say it backwards, fans only. And he got jealous of it, I guess, and ended up beating her up, probably because he just lost his job. He got waived about a week before this whole scenario went down. So I saw a tweet from NBA Central, and it gave some more details, so then I did some more research on it. And it seems like his girlfriend or wife or whatever, I think it's his girlfriend, is an ex-adult film star and now she is doing fans only and he got jealous of it because she was very successful on it which a lot of people are and she was probably ended up making more money than him because he was on a veteran minimum contract with the minnesota timberwolves which is about i think like two three million dollars a year so that's a lot but he got waived so i don't know if it was a non-guaranteed and if like they cut it off which means he would have made no money or if he made like one and a half to two million which is still a lot for a year but he's 29 years old so once he hits that 30 mark pretty soon it's gonna be a little bit harder to get a job and he's already on a veteran minimum contract so his career was already starting to slowly go away especially since he got waived and the Timberwolves didn't play him very much so his career is is over now in the NBA at least that's for sure because he reportedly gave his his ex-girlfriend or his girlfriend two black eyes and bruised her entire body so that's really really intense that they got home from a night out and got in an argument and he gave her two black eyes and bruises over her entire body that means he must have totally flipped a switch and just let it all out because getting a black eye is a lot harder than i feel like you think like I thought it would be easy. I've got hit in the face twice really hard this year in basketball. And both times I was like, that's 100% a black eye. And it just isn't. Like, I've gotten like a welt on my eye, but I haven't actually gotten like a black eye. So getting a black eye is tough. He must have been punching her in the nose or the face pretty hard to get that or hitting her or whatever he did. And now this is all like alleged, but he's he's locked up. Obviously, there's his mugshot. He's in jail and he'll probably be in there for a while this is a kind of another miles bridges situation that is pretty bad we got some pretty graphic details knowing that he physically beat her up to the point where she has bruises over her entire body and has two black eyes like she's probably not doing very well and i'm glad that she got the medical medical attention she needed because last video i said she may not have needed that medical medical attention it may have just been a way out into getting like cops there to arrest him but no she probably actually did need medical medical attention if she had bruises over her entire body and two black eyes he really was probably swinging hard which is really unfortunate because this guy was set up to make generational wealth tens of millions of dollars he had been in the league for a while played for the spurs twice the nuggets the bucks he won an nba championship played for the timberwolves this year like he had made millions and millions of dollars, which set him up for the rest of his life. Even if he never played another game in the NBA again, which was a possibility, he was still set up to be good for the rest of his life if he was smart with his money. Like, tens of millions of dollars, you're set for the rest of your life. I don't care if you never work again from 29 to the rest of your life. Like, you should be good if you are smart with your money. And it seemed like he had a girl that was making good money herself so it seemed like they should have been set up really really well but like i said he just messed that all up because he's gonna have a lot of money going to the court system to the prison system like he's going to lose a lot of money from this plus lose his wife or girlfriend or whatever their, that label is and all the money she was bringing in from obviously fans only like he said he was getting jealous Plus, she was an ex-adult film star, so she probably made 
good money there and i bet you they were living really good he has two children i wonder what that means for them i don't know if it's with her or if it is with another woman but he probably is not going to really be allowed to see them anymore especially since he is going to jail or prison for pretty extreme assault so this did happen in san antonio so i don't really know if that's like his permanent home because he has played there two in two different stints and he spent the most of his career in san antonio but this mugshot is from a san antonio jail or prison so uh, if you're wondering it, it doesn't really change the story at all but it's just if you were wondering and man do i feel bad for the girl like usually it's like yeah you believe the woman but like in the past couple years it's kind of switched where it's like yeah, you want to believe the woman, but you need more evidence first because we've just seen it so many times when professional athletes have been taken advantage of. But this is not one of those situations. We've seen it with Miles Bridges. We've seen it with Brent Forbes. These are two examples of NBA players using their power, feeling like they're better than, or well, I guess in Brent Forbes' case, feeling like he was better than his girl until she started having success of her own and just going way too far and everyone knows you don't do this to anyone doesn't matter if it's your worst enemy or anyone like that that is really far to beat someone up that far to the point where they need medical attention so he definitely deserves to be in jail for a, a while and i hope he doesn't just have the ability to just post bail because if they set his bail at a million dollars he's gonna be able to get out if they set it at two million he's probably gonna be able to get out if they said it any lower he's gonna be able to get out which is really unfortunate because yeah he's made so much money in his career that he'll be able to post bail which is really sucky because that's not going to really teach him his lesson as much yeah i know he's probably going to get a ton of scrutiny for this like this video is supposed to be scrutiny against him but still that jail time is really when you learn your lesson and it is unfortunate that he isn't going to have to experience that um or maybe he won't have to experience that maybe he will i hope that the court decides that he can't post bail but we will have to see what happens there and yeah definitely prayers go out to her and her family because that's really unfortunate i hope that this doesn't ever make her like not trust men the same which it probably will for a portion of time i hope she finds herself a better boyfriend better husband um than him and i hope that his kids stay far away from him hey and if they're her kids or someone else's kids, I hope that whoever the mom is takes better care of them. And yeah, really unfortunate that he messed up his life like that, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. So uh, drop some nice messages for her in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave a like, those subscribe and turn notification bells to all. See you guys in the next video. Peace out, my friends. See you guys next time. Bye.